Uh, I was watching, I was home yesterday, I was watching this movie Dr. Doolittle on ABC, uh, and that really has nothing to do with this story, but that's how I came to see this ad for some new Disney movie, uh, because, you know, this is when they run the ads for stuff that's coming out for children. And there's some, they're making another one of those documentaries where they follow wild animals around with a cam- uh, camera, but then they make it into like a story and they make the animals into characters. And it's about monkeys. It's called Disney's Monkey Something. I don't remember. Uh, narrated by Tina Fey. And the the lead monkey, now I don't know if they did this, but it's got a really stylish haircut. Like it's got a haircut that I've seen on plenty of different models. And I'm wondering, did Disney give this monkey a haircut because it was going to be the star of its film? Or does that naturally occur in the wild? I don't know. I'll try to find out the answer for you. All right, so I got an answer to that monkey haircut question. Uh, If you didn't hear it, earlier I was talking about uh, this ad I'd seen yesterday for a new Disney movie. It's a documentary where they follow this group of monkeys around. And the monkeys have these interesting haircuts. And I was wondering whether or not Disney had actually cut the monkey's hair to make it look more fashionable. Because it's basically like, um, it's like long hair on top, but it looks like it's buzzed on the side. But a lot of people have this where it's like kind of long on top, buzzed on the side. It's something that you would see at Fashion Week. Uh, Turns out, though, that that is actually the monkey's natural hairdo. So the monkeys were just, you know, born fabulous, I guess. Um, these are They're called toque macaques. And I guess they get their name from the, uh, the, the hair that's on their heads. But uh, no wonder Disney picked them. They certainly look interesting enough.